A key feature of the TP12 global unitizing machine is our ability to pull tension in both directions. And, and why is that important? Traditional strappers pull tension only from one direction. And you're trying to achieve a certain retained tension level, but you're pulling tension in one direction. So one of the, the problems with that, with cans, is that you may pull the load over to the strapper before it's unitized, and that's obviously not a good thing. The other thing is that you have to pull so much tension because every time you pull tension, when you tension strap around a load, every corner that you go over, you lose tension tr transmission. So if you were to measure the tension on the front side of the load, it'll probably be about 20 points, 20 pounds higher than if you measured that same strap on the back side of the load. Because each corner that it goes over, you've lost tension transmission. As we pull tension in the traditional way with our feed module, but we also pull tension from the other direction. So we're, we use what we call bi-directional tensioning. So we're pulling tension from both directions, where we're pulling it with the feed wheels one way, and we're driving the carriage where we get the other end of the strap grip up in the other direction. And what does that do? That helps equalize tension on both sides of the load. And why is that important? Because now we have the same tension on the front and on the back. One of the really cool things as can makers have light weighted their product and made those cans much more delicate is you sort of have, you can't put as much tension on because you don't want to damage them. But by the same token, the straps have to be tight enough to get to your customer without being disturbed and, and all over the trailer. With our system of bi-directional tensioning, we can actually apply at lower tension levels and maintain the same or greater retained tension just by pulling them in both directions without the use of compression. And that really sets us apart from our competition. One of our quick change modules does the feeding and tensioning, and the other module does the sealing and cutting. Because we were able to split these jobs, we've been able to simplify them. They can open up the door, it kills the power to the equipment. The feed tension module weighs about 35 pounds. You don't have to schedule downtime to schedule your PM. You can do your PM at any time that you like because you can get these heads in and out of the equipment in less than a minute. Pull the sealer out, that weighs about 22 pounds. Today, with our quick change technology, the people on the floor can take one of their spares in the middle of production, take the module out, put the spare back in, turn the machine back on and walk away and your line continues to run production without any interruption. And then they can take that module over to their bench and do work right on top of their bench. We really only use four buttons that the operators will use probably 90% of their time. There's an e-stop button, there's a, a blue power on button, there's a green uh, manual cycle button, and that is used to apply a manual cycle or feed a new coil of strapping. And then there's an automatic on or an automatic off button. We also feature an HMI that provides all kinds of uh, detailed information on cycle efficiency. There's also a resettable counter that's very useful for the maintenance teams to set maintenance schedules, um, to work on a problem, reset the counter, and then come and revisit and see if they've successfully fixed that problem. The HMI monitors about 19 different things that could happen with the strapper. There's other information like uh, inputs and outputs so that people can watch the, uh, the inputs and outputs with, while having the panel close that can show up on the HMI screen. So we've put a wealth of information and we keep on adding new, new features to that HMI that really make it very operator friendly and very easy for maintenance people.